beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're an old subscriber thanks for joining me today so in today's video i'll be doing my wash day routine and today i'll be trying this product by um african pride the moisture miracle aloe and coconut water detangle and condition pre-shampoo i got this okay yeah i got this about a week ago not a week ago when i was taking down my um braids if you follow me on instagram you're gonna see i had um braids in my hair so i had it for about let's say 10 weeks yeah it was that long for the first time Ooh. but yeah i had the braids in for about eight weeks for 10 weeks in my hair and when i was taking it down i used just a little bit of this to try it out because i wanted something to detangle my hair other than oil i usually use oil as a pre poo but i just wanted something with more sleep i wanted to experiment so when i tried this it actually really worked i just didn't really use enough i just like put my finger in it and like a dime less than a dime size on each like um section just to take it apart because i had finals and i wasn't ready to wash my hair so i just put it in twist but yeah so today i'll be using these products for my wash day and so you guys can see how good the product is so first things first take down this hair And this is my first. So this is what I was saying about the front part. It's too light, but it's starting to grow out. So we'll see how that comes along. But yeah, everything else is fine. I actually like the color. I just, I'm not a big fan of the front being too light. And I also noticed like if I try to put like um, edge control or something, just to, like lay my edges, it appears to make me look bald. Once I apply edge control, the whole place, it's like there's no hair. There's no existence of hair or whatsoever. But before I forget, I need to take off the ring so it doesn't get tangled in my hair. But yeah, so, you know what? I'm just going to part this into two sections. Four sections, actually. So I'm just going to section off a little bit of hair again. and i don't really have but yeah this is how um slippery it is it's very slippery but yeah, so i'm just going to apply it to the roots first and i don't use combs to determine my hair i don't i do use it it's just like once in probably once in six months or something but i barely use i rarely use combs in my hair and i just you guys can see how easy it is for me to just run my fingers through and I haven't even figured it tangled yet. So here we have a knot situation going on. I'm just going to apply a little bit. Oh. Melted. I know you guys can see this. Like, look at this. So after I'm done with this section, I'll just put it up and twist because I wash my hair and twist, which is another tip if you're trying to um, retain length for your natural hair is to wash your hair and twist. So I'm also going to show you guys a different section. Not a different, I'm going to show you guys another section. So this is what the section is looking like. It's so I'm trying to sh give you guys like an example of me trying to finger detangle my dry hair. It's not too bad because I just took down my um, twists and it's still like the living conditioner is helping but with the product it adds more sleep and it makes it easier to detangle. So once I'm done 
again just put it up and twist and with this product if you um if you don't have access to this product you can also like use aloe vera because i already used aloe vera in my hair before i just didn't like the struggle of trying to get the aloe vera from the leaf and and i also like i think i was allergic to the smell and it also like my skin itches each time i use it but this actually gives the same feeling like it's slippery and it's what i've been looking for in case you're wondering why the um my hair looks white it's the living conditioner from the twist i had in my hair So this is what my hair is currently looking like after I'm done detangling with the pre-shampoo. So now the next thing for me to do is um, go in the shower and shampoo and um, also condition my hair. I don't condition, I deep condition. So, but since I'll be putting my hair in a protective style, my routine for protective styles is to um, make sure my hair is either deep conditioned or pertin treatments. So if I do a pertin treatment before putting my hair in a protective style, when I take it out, I just deep condition, you know, as I go. And before I put in a, another protective style, I pertin treatment again, or the other way around, if I deep condition my hair before a protective style, after I take down the protective style, I have to do a protein treatment and then deep condition and make sure like, you know, my hair is ready for the new protective style. And my routine for when I take down my braids or when I take down my protective style, which I'm going to talk about in a different video, my routine for that is when I take down my hair, I don't shampoo immediately. I use a clay wash just to you know clarify my hair and my scalp and then probably like a week after i might not i might but i will use a shampoo and go about my normal business but yeah so now let's go to let's go in the shower and wash this off by the way this is the total amount of hair i um lost or shed and this is how much hair i was able to take out from finger detangling while pre pulling for the most part, I usually get the most um, hair out of my head, like shedded hair out of my head during pre-pool. So I know the rest of the hair I'm going to lose won't be this much, which is why you should be finger detangling your hair. Cause if I was to use a comb, it would probably be double this amount or triple because combs break out my hair easily. I mean, if you have thick hair, you might get away with it. You just need to actually know your hair and know what it likes for me we don't like combs we only use right tail combs to like part our air to put in protective styles but aside that we rarely use combs to comb our hair yeah we my hair and i we're a team so next i'll be going in for my shampoo and i'm almost out and i use the tresemme smooth and silky 
system for 48 hours. So I've been using the shampoo for about a year and it's, I don't know if you can hear, but it's almost out. First thing is to dry my hair so that way because like you need your hair about 80% dry because for the protein treatment you need it to um for the protein treatment to work it needs to like dry and harden up your hair but if your hair is wet it's not going to dry or dry as fast and you're gonna sit there forever waiting for it to dry up so i just like to use my towel or an old t-shirt whatever i can grab just to you know dry it up wet you can see it but i'm just gonna go ahead at this point so for today i'll be using my afro g if you've been following me for a while you know this is the only protein treatment i use on my hair i haven't tried any other protein treatment and that seems to work fine so i'm just going to go ahead and part my hair into four sections but because i have to do it thanks ac but anyways but because i have to do a protein treatment i had to make sure my hair is completely like completely completely clean sparkling clean so i have to take down each section and wash it as a whole so i'm going to start working on this section so i just go ahead and put my hair in smaller sections i just like to work with smaller sections. And I'll go in with the Alpha G two step protein treatment. So, what you want to do is apply this to your hair, but try as much as possible to avoid your scalp. Sometimes, it, like when I started using this product, it used to irritate my scalp, but now I just I don't think I notice it anymore. But just to be safe, try to avoid it touching your scalp and also try to avoid it getting in your eyes because it hurts like it burns for real so i just apply this to my hair and squeeze it in just to make sure like this strand um, is coated I 
also be generous to your ends because your ends are the oldest and weakest part of your hair so i like to you know give my ends extra care i know it may seem like i'm binding to my roots but i actually not i stop somewhere here So because my hair is usually in a protective style most or majority of the time, like um, it's always in a protective style. If my hair is in a long-term protective style, like braids, twists, and stuff with um, extensions, then I only do protein treatment when I'm about to put my hair back into braids, or when I didn't do a protein treatment before um get in a protective style then i do the protein treatment after so and with my long-term protective style they usually range from minimum of three weeks to like six weeks and the last one i had was in my hair for 10 weeks that's the longest i've ever had a protective style in my hair for but hey it's it's college it's not my fault so yeah but if i have my hair in like you know mini twists we just my hair i don't need to do my protect i don't need to do the protein treatment after each protective style or before each protective style i only do it in like maybe once in three months or i honestly don't have a timeline of how i do things it depends on how my hair feels and what it needs so if my hair is starting to break a lot or if there's no elasticity so for example like this like it has some elasticity but it's not as much like it's supposed to snap back like back to really so that's when i know okay it's time to get a protein treatment or if like i start noticing excessive breakage and like trims i get trims and then first i do protective um protein treatment and then if that's still not stopping it then i know i most definitely need a trim but yeah for the most part protective um protein treatment works i keep saying protective treatment my hair feels completely dry and this is because i washed my hair like i shampooed my hair this way so it's extremely dry that's from the shampoo this is why i wash my hair in twist most of the time this is sticky it's sticking my hands together so and that's how you know it's working because it's supposed to like clump your curls together and once it dries like it's gonna harden up and that way it builds the um, protein molecules in your hair don't forget your edges another thing you want to be careful of while using this product if your hair is completely dry Please do not attempt to like play with it. It's going to break off because it's dry dry. So just do not attempt. So you see what I'm doing right now, doing all this. I don't do it once it's dry. treatment i just wait for it to dry and this can take it depends on how um dry your hair is before you apply it and how much hair is in the atmosphere for your hair to dry i never use the hoodie dryer to dry i just let it air dry and once it's completely dry i wash it off but i will come back to show you guys what it's I'm trying to make sure this doesn't get in my eye because I don't want to cry tonight. But anyways, I'll come back when my hair is dry and to show you guys what it looks like. And after it's dry, I'll just um, rinse it off and do a deep conditioner. And I usually don't do this much like for my regular wash day, but this is because I like this is like my wash day, not my protective style prep wash day or like protective style take down wash day so same thing for both it's just one is either if i clarify with um 
what's it called the clay mask then i won't be doing this because for the clay mask it's basically the same process so i don't like sitting there for the clay mask to air dry just for me to go wash it off and then apply protein just to go sit down again for it to dry i don't have that much time on my hands so i just do either or but yeah my regular wash day routine is just shampoo deep condition and put my hair in braids or twists let it air dry overnight and the next day apply leave-in conditioner on my scalp apply grease that's it and probably put in a style like a mini twist or whatever i want to do or just put on my jewelry and that's it that's basically all i do so i'm back and it's been probably an hour and a half to two hours because i was watching my recorded lecture because i have a test that i'm studying for but yeah all this are from the hair dripping on me sorry the protein treatment dripping because it gets messy and it's currently 12 something a.m right now so in case i'm whispering it's because it's late but anyways so i'm just going to go wash my hair go rinse off right now it's so stiff i don't know if you can might not be able to tell but not everything is completely dry even though i took almost two hours to let it air dry like the back is mostly stiff but the front like some parts are stiff like this part is stiff my edges are stiff my hair is stuck to my ears can you hear that but some parts are still wet like here so I'm just going to go wash, um, rinse off the protein treatment off camera and I'm tired. <sighs> it's a long day. It's been a long day, but I'm going to come back and apply my deep conditioner. I'm probably just going to leave that on for about 10, 15 minutes, rinse it off, put my hair in twists and go to sleep. Call it a night. Call it a day. If I may. But yeah, so I'll be back once my hair is fully rinsed just to show you guys the deep conditioner I use, how I use it, bada boom, bada bam. I'm tired. Tanya's got done rinsing out the protein treatment and I'm about to apply the deep conditioner. So here I have this deep conditioner I started using last year also. It's the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Treatment. I started using this last year and I'm almost done with it but then I don't know I just thought of like going back to where I started from like I was going through my old pictures because I take pictures of my hair a lot just to track the growth on what's going on with my hair and I would um when I compared my pictures from when I just started and what helped me or when I started seeing length and in inches in my hair I noticed I was using um, the Alicay Natural Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner so I decided to just go back to that and you know keep it simple go back to what I used to use to see if it still works the same way and honestly I used it the first time when I took down my braids my last protective hairstyle before I dyed my hair and it actually it was okay I don't know if it was great or no or not but it was just I didn't really pay attention to what happened but I'm going to be using this today because it's more natural and it contains like more natural ingredients and since my hair is damaged I, I just want to give it like the extremely TLC before I put in a protective style so again sections I'll we'll section my hair into four as usual This is why I love doing protein treatments. Ouch. But yeah, see how my hair snaps back? Like, just going to go with as much as each section needs. I have no direction whatsoever. This is just 
just to you know bring back some moisture back to the hair because the protein treatment it's slightly drying not like a negative not like a um, negative effect it's like a positive in a positive way but i just want to bring back you know to make my hair slightly softer that makes sense and in case i'm not um, coherent or my words are not i don't know how to put it it's just i'm tired that's what i'm just trying to say i'm tired so less words my brain is asleep it's not asleep but my brain is um tired right now so it's not really processing that much words for me to produce or say or speak sleepy as the pre-shampoo but it's sleepy which is something I love and it also smells nice so. by the way this video is not sponsored I wish it was but it's not sponsored so these are my honest reviews and opinions about the products I'm using it has nothing to do with I should have said the company but it, or the brand this is just my own opinion. So once I'm done applying the deep conditioner, I just go ahead and use my plastic cap. And just, I usually deep condition for sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, sometimes it's been a while I did over it, but most times it's just like for a long time until I feel like by long time I don't mean I don't think I've ever gone past an hour to an hour 30 minutes so but this is going to actually stay in my hair for shorter because I'm so tired and I'm ready to go to sleep so I will see you guys in about 20 minutes after I'm done rinsing my hair and putting it in jumbo twist and braids and that'll be i guess all for the video i was going to record me moisturizing but i usually don't moisturize my hair until like a day or two after i don't know it's just <laughs> i don't know why but oh i know why so it's just like so when i'm done washing my hair without any products i want it to like be dry or complete like completely dry or like 80 percent dry to 90 percent dry and then when i add my products there's already like a little bit of stretch so that way i get like more stretch to the hair if that makes sense but i think that's going to be a different video because this video is already long enough and i don't want to keep you guys waiting too much but i didn't want to split this video into multiple videos like oh how i deep condition how i protein treatment how i did this how i did that because I just wanted everything to be in one place for you guys to see. I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you guys in 20 minutes from now. It's currently 1.15 a.m. right now. And I just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner. And I just wanted to um, show you guys what my hair was looking like. I need to redo this. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that already, but I'm tired. And I'm also tired of saying I'm tired. But this is what my hair is looking like this, without any product. Close up the camera. or jumbo braids but because of how tired I am I just started to do twists because it's faster 
so have it in jumbo twist for a day jumbo twist dries faster so have it in jumbo twist for like a day and then by tomorrow not tomorrow but like when i wake up or before i go to go to bed i'll just um probably moisturize it but for now we are tired and ready to go to sleep like i really 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 need to go to sleep that's it for today's video if you watch till the end you're a real one like i owe you big time but thank you so much i love you for doing that thank you and if you love this video please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more videos i know my energy kind of like went down it's because i'm tired it's been a long day i'm trying to like study take a test record do these do that it's just it's been a lot but i got this video down for you guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time bye just in case you were wondering this is the total amount of hair i lost or i shed so this was when i was taking down my twists my fat my uh, mini twist this was the pre poo this was during shampoo this was the protein treatment and it's hard <laughs> this was applying the deep conditioner and this was rinsing off the deep conditioner so in total this is how the hair i lost